Hello, my name is Adam Dillman. In this webinar, we will be covering trisomy and aneuploidy analysis of QF-PCR data using GeneMarker software. If you are not yet familiar with GeneMarker, I encourage you to view the GeneMarker introductory webinar before watching this video. Trisomy and aneuploidy analysis with GeneMarker offers several advantages. The interface is intuitive and user-friendly, and analysis is rapid and highly accurate. Results are easily visualized, saved, and printed. The trisomy application is linked directly to the main screen, preventing unnecessary data transfers. Finally, analysis procedures can be extensively customized to accommodate a wide range of chemistries. Now, let's walk through a typical analysis procedure. To begin, simply load your traces by going to File, Open Data. Click Add and navigate to your traces. Then click Open and OK. We can now visualize the raw data, which is organized in a file tree to the left. Once you have reviewed your raw data and are ready to begin data processing, simply click on the green arrow or navigate to Project Run. Select the panel, size standard, standard color, and analysis type, or simply click on the corresponding pre-save template. Then click Next. The settings in this and the following window can be modified for more specialized projects. However, the default settings, which can be obtained by clicking Load Default, are in accordance with the best practice guidelines, making them appropriate for nearly all typical analyses. If using the defaults, simply click Next and OK. Sizecore results are displayed in the file tree to the left. Green icons, as we can see here, indicate that the size calling was successful. Yellow icons indicate that review of the size call is advised, and red icons indicate that size calling failed. The report table to the right summarizes the allele calls and uses a similar color scheme. Green icons mean the allele met all analysis parameters. A yellow icon, such as this one, indicates that the allele is in the check range for at least one parameter, and a red icon means that the allele failed at least one analysis parameter. Simply click on an allele to be taken to the corresponding electropharogram. Here you can confirm, edit, or delete the allele simply by right-clicking on it. Alleles cannot be edited or modified in the trisomy analysis window. Therefore, to ensure accurate results, all questionable size and allele calls must be addressed prior to using the trisomy application. When ready to begin trisomy analysis, simply navigate to Applications, Trisomy Analysis. This brings up the Trisomy Analysis Settings dialog box. BPG, or Best Practice Guidelines, is the recommended analysis type. Set the peak height, the height ratio, and the quantification method according to your lab's protocol. The parameters in the Trisomy Ratio section are consistent with Best Practice Guidelines, but can be adjusted if necessary. The Statistics Plot tab gives you the option to modify the components of the ratio plot, which is included in the report. When you have made your selections, just click OK. Results are displayed in the Trisomy Analysis window. This window includes a file tree to the left, a ratio plot below, the electropharogram in the center, and a report table to the right. Each of these windows can be resized for easier viewing. Markers in the trisomic range are most efficiently identified using the report table. The first two columns of the report table show the number of alleles at a given marker and the trisomy type. Click on a marker to be taken to its specific electropharogram. For example, if I click D21S11, I can visually confirm that there are three alleles present and that they have a 1 to 1 to 1 trisomy pattern. The report table can be easily modified by clicking the report settings icon. Here there are many customizable settings. For example, I can click Show Only Trisomy and then click OK. Now only information for trisomic markers is being displayed. The report table can be saved as an Excel or text file by clicking on the Save Report icon. The results can also be visualized using the ratio plot in the bottom left. Each data point on this graph represents the peak ratio of a sample at the selected marker. For example, here we're looking at marker D21S11, and you can see that each of these points that I select is associated with a different sample. Furthermore, points between these two black parallel lines 
are in the normal range. Points outside of the black parallel lines but within the gray parallel lines are in the inconclusive range, and points outside of the gray parallel lines are in the trisomic range. Simply click on a point to be taken to its location in the report table and its electropharogram. To print this trisomy analysis report, just click on the printer icon in the upper left hand corner. The print settings dialog box allows you to choose which samples and markers to include and allows you to modify aspects of the ratio plot, report table, and electropharogram, all of which are included in the report. When you've made your selections, click Preview to view the report. This is a typical print report. The report contains a header with project-specific information, such as the sample name, analysis type, panel name, and project name. User management is also integrated into the report. The username of the analyst is included, as is the organization name. In this case, I'm logged in as the administrator, and my organization name is Soft Genetics. The relevant marker information from the report table is included, and markers in the trisomic range are highlighted. Corresponding electropharograms are also included. Finally, a validation box is in the upper right-hand corner for expert review. These reports can be printed directly or saved as .png files. One last thing I'd like to show you is the panel editor which can be used to import many trisomy panels installed with GeneMarker. To access the panel editor, simply click Tools, Panel Editor. Click File, Import Predefined Panels. And then select Aneuploidy Panels. Choose a chemistry and then navigate to the panel of interest. As you can see, this panel has now been imported into the panel editor. If I close out of this and return to the run wizard, I can now see that this panel has been included in my list of usable panels. If you can't find your panel of interest using this method, simply contact us at tech underscore support at softgenetics.com and request it. Thank you for watching this gene marker webinar. In this webinar, we covered the trisomy and aneuploidy analysis application. Specifically, we discussed importing data, size and allele calls, identifying trisomic markers, printing options, and importing trisomy panels. More information about trisomy and aneuploidy analysis using GeneMarker can be found in Chapter 7 of the User Manual. For more information, or for a free 30-day trial of GeneMarker and other Soft Genetics products, please visit softgenetics.com or email info at softgenetics.com. For technical support questions or to request panels, please write to tech underscore support at softgenetics.com. Thank you for watching.